Today I'm going to show you how to make a Peggy the Sheep. Yeah. You will need, first of all, to go online for Cookham Kids Holiday Club and download the template. Then when you've got the template, you cut the template for the body and head of the sheep out and for the ears. The ears are going to fold in half. And when you've cut the template out, you can use that on a quarter of a sheet of black A4 card and draw around the sheep and the ears very carefully and then cut them out. So then you're a bit that stage. Now the next thing you're going to do is have two wooden clothes pegs. You can use plain ones or you could do as I've done and just give them the outside a little bit of black paint. Let them dry first or you can use a felt tip pen. So you take your clothes pegs to make into legs, pop them on your sheep, just check it to make sure it stands up. There we go. And then you're going to pop the ears over here, like that. You don't need to stick the ears on at all. You just need to pop them over the head of the sheep. And then you're ready to start winding your wool, okay? So for this one, I just used some ordinary creamy white wool that I had in. This time I'm going to use some fluffy wool. This is a whole ball, it was a 50 gram ball. It won't need anywhere near as much as that. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to make sure that you secure the wool underneath one of the close pegs like that. Okay, and then just hold the ears there with your fingers and then start to wind around the body, leave the head free and trap the ears, trap the ears on by winding the wool over and then keep winding in any way that you like, around in any direction with that wool until your sheep starts looking more and more and more fluffy with a nice fleece on it. You can go in any direction you like more difficult to do these end bits just to get the whole body covered like that great fun to do you could make a multicolored sheep of course if you wanted to do that okay keep winding I could probably go until it's really fat and really fluffy and it looks like it's all ready for shearing. But as I say, you only need a scrap of wool. That was a 50 gram ball and you can see I haven't used very much. And then when you feel that your sheep is fat enough, make sure that where you caught the ear to keep it on, the ear is coming out of the wool. Make sure that that's poking out. You see it's got trapped in the fleece. Here it comes. When you're happy that your sheep is fat enough, just cut off the wool, leave a nice long end, about 15 centimeters. If you've got a bodkin, it's useful to thread a bodkin to sew these ends in. If you haven't got a bodkin, you can just wind that round and make sure that you just took the ends in at the back, the little end in at the back on your sheep. There, If you want you could add an eye on but I like mine just as it is. So there we go and that stands up very nicely on a flat surface. So there we go. <laughs> Have fun making Peggy the sheep. And if you do one, take a picture and ask Mo or Dad to send it to John Sykes to the email address shown on the website. And we look forward to seeing them at our End of Kids Club Celebration Gallery. Have fun.